That's right, yeah. Pronunciation. The pronunciation is right, right now. You said it very well. The pronunciation of your uh, city, Colon. Colon. Yeah, because it's like kind it's of. It's with a C in front. Yeah. C O L O G N E. That's Cologne in Germany. All right. Where so the most of the guys are come from. I just wanted to know why I always get that like kind of beast um, mood from you when you. Playing, you know. The mood, you want something? Yeah, yeah. You look like kind of wild. Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know. Yeah, in a way, a little bit. So, um, no, it's always the same thing, a little bit. That I have to bring myself in a good shape to yeah. play very well, and um, to I'm not the guy who, you know, to to hide myself behind the laptop or something because I'm doing the live performance and not the DJ. Yeah. And I'm always trying to, you know, to get the mood directly from the audience to get a good response from them to play with yeah. the audience together. That brings me in a good shape normally. And um, so that maybe means that I play a little bit wild, I do some wild stuff in this uh, techno style. So um, it's always like you know to play with the people together and to do like the best for the party, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Okay, so is that like is that wild part of you in your last production? I think so. That is one of the most important parts of my in, in my productions. Because in my case, um, it's normally last over the, since two years or something. I only uh, do the live performance, so I haven't done that much records right. over the last few years because I haven't that much time. And it's always like to you know to, to give the best when I'm doing the performance for one hour for the live performance to so bring all the energy, and yeah. the impressions in it, and to yeah to give that to the people. Right. And does it sound um, a bit? You know, does it actually have like a sound from your city? I mean, you know, kind of. Yeah, a little bit. It's like Cologne used to be very popular for this kind of minimal sound we created. Yeah. For years, and it's still it's still inside um, the performance, it's still inside the music that I always have this minimal structure things to to do in that way. So um, it it's really sounds like Cologne when I do the performance. Really can say that. Good. It's like typical. It's a typical. No, Cologne and it's thing, inside you. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's something you can't change. Yeah, it's always, uh, you know, you, you can change it, but in my case I always make sure that it has to has to be like a minimal technical style, yeah. which is which is in my case, uh, right now I always want to do that. And that's, like, I'm not so the guy who changed the sound very often or very well. Okay. It's always like to go to the yeah, point, yeah, yeah, of course. To, yeah. to the middle of the, of the music, which is like always the same thing, to have the kind of a technical style, and to have a lot of energy in it, and to push the people up and all that and stuff. And what about your favorite artists? Oh, good question. Um, it's not not only from it's not only from techno the favorite artist. So, um, I guess for example, when I listen at home, for example, I well listen to to Elvis Presley, for example, or to ambient yeah. stuff. So you know, music without beats or. I have a good, good DJ. I have so many good DJs around me, like Axel or Michael or Tobias, the guys who are playing here, yeah. here tonight as well. So um, no, it's more like that I listen to rock music as well at home. It's What kind of artists do you prefer? For, well, example, like, well, for example, the Queen of the Stone Age, I always listen yeah. to that with my girlfriend together, okay. which, is a, which, is a, which is a rock band from, from the US. Yeah. They have nothing to do with techno style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we love to, to, to listen to that kind of music yeah, at home. Them, yeah. It's always, you know, when it's, it's uh, really different. I told you, like Elvis Presley or ambient stuff, yeah, exactly. or pop music from the 80s, because I grew up there and I was always in touch with the 50s, 80s bands. And I just, just uh, uh, get back to the point to play these old records I still have in my flat. Yeah. Listen to it again yeah. and again to have a this round of records. So. so, this is like a typical question, but I really have to know what do you think about party like girl? Um, it's huge in a way, it's crazy, um, but I love this kind of festival atmosphere. Yeah. Because in today's year, more like we have two floors, more like a club, but it feels more like a festival. So I think we're expecting uh, almost 10,000 people, that was the organizer said. Yeah. And in my case, so I love that. When you have a lot of people around, they have the opportunity to move from one floor to another floor. Yeah. So they do a circle and everybody's moving all the time. So. Uh, 
brings a lot of energy in it. So no, I loved it, especially this game. Okay, today we got this unbelievable weather, so it's super that we can move. You know, for example, you go to a bar or to another bar, and you have this unbelievable space yeah, we yeah, got yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so can feel free. Yeah, you can going feel free anywhere you want. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and exactly. here wherever you want to. Hear. So it's good. I mean, it's, it's it's really different to the club situation we normally have. Yeah, exactly. But um, it's super. No, this festival oh, feeling good. is good. It's good. good. I like that. Okay. It's good. Good. So yeah. have fun. Yeah. And we're sure everybody is going to be with a lot of energy. I hope so. Yeah, I think I get, I get good preparation. I think so. It's already our tent is already full, and so it feels good that the party has begun in a good way. And then I good. think so we will have a good. Okay. Good Thank night you together. so much. You're welcome. No problem. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Like so you, you haven't been here no. before. I played at uh, Mondo. Mondo. Yeah, the, the, the bar. Like three times maybe. Really? Yeah. yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> right. So tell me about your label. You're uh, running a I label, have right? Two labels. Two labels. Dirty Bird and Mothership. Mothership. Yeah. All right. And um, Mothership's more European, like housey techno, and Dirty Bird's like. Drum and bass influence, right. like hip hop, like, like different, funk. two different things, total difference. Yeah. Drum, uh, Why dirty bird? <laughs> I don't know. We, I used to do this. Oh, I have. I used to do this drawing when I was a kid all the time, like in church, just to this goof one? off. Yeah. That's the logo. And so hey, we didn't call it this though. But we were just sitting in a bar with all the guys <laughs> that are on there, <laughs> having fun. And um, somebody just said it, and, and we were. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you mean. <laughs> that happened to me. Yeah, it's like okay, that's that's gonna be the name. And what kind of artists do we find on your label? Justin Martin and Christian Martin, his brother, and me and Style of I and Worthy. Uh, this year we have new people like Don Boys and. Yeah, I don't know. And <laughs> We, we make like a lot of the music. Yeah, all right. Like me, Justin, and Chris. Uh, what kind of music? Like specifically those two things you it's just like, said before? If it's got some kind of like bass or weirdo concept element, right. it's okay. usually on Dirty Bird. But I do stuff for Mothership also, but it's just a little more like. Like Euro. freaky good music. <laughs> just like good <laughs> like music. Just like techno-ish. Yeah. But also like deep house and stuff like that. It does, just anything that doesn't fit on dirty work. Yeah, alright, okay. And uh, well what what your what is your favorite artist of your label? Do you have an actual like favorite artist? No. No? Can't you can't say that. Say that. <laughs> No. no. I mean, so tell just, me about. I would say Justin Martin. Tell me about all the artists. Like, what what kind of other music do you like? Well, we have like Italo boys that do their own crazy thing, and they like really take real world samples and freak them out in really unusual ways. And and then we have Voodoo, which is like kind of harder, really techy techno stuff that is yeah. really cool. I like everything that's good. Yeah, you do you like? Like open-minded yeah good yeah exactly <laughs> like what you do yeah <laughs> yeah no? i play like all genres during my set up well within yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. that you can play i try to go everywhere good good you try i'm not a guy that uh like you know how there's djs that like i'm not like a luciano who will just like do a set that's right. just like building and going down and building yeah. i'll play like like. 13 different genres. <laughs> okay, hours. okay. Well, that's good. That's like, okay. Right, energetic. Is it? That's energetic. What? Energetic. Yeah, and just, yeah. I just play my favorite music. Good. I'm not putting tracks in because they're working. All right. Oh, okay. Playing, I know what you mean I'm now. I'm playing tracks because they're good. Good. Oh, you see? Uh, oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> we didn't know that. And what do you think um, about party like this one, like a uh, like specific owl party? It's crazy. It's so big. I didn't think it was so big. There's so many people here. It's like three yeah. areas and everything's packed and it's really cool. Everybody had really great energy in that, yeah. in that tent, whatever it is. Is it a tent? Yeah. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> we should have some tan as well. You and me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. I just went to Mexico. I'm so white. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, we're very happy to have you here playing for us. Thank you. Thank you.